Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna glam it up and do this smoky eye, like really cool toned smoky eye tutorial. And also there's gonna be a little story time. So bear with me, this is gonna be a longer video because I'm sharing my Botox gone wrong story with you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe on your way out. So I already have a no makeup makeup on. It's the video conference makeup tutorial. I'll link it below if you guys missed it, but it's basically the same exact makeup look, but I'm gonna build on this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and apply a foundation. I haven't worn a foundation in ages. So I'm gonna go in with my uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 6.5. This is one of my favorite foundations. You guys know that. And even though I have some blush on, not to worry. Oh my gosh, this looks so much lighter. Did I mix? I think I'm gonna mix some 3.5 in this. I will definitely bronze my face because this looks really pale, but that's okay. So for my concealer, I'm gonna try the new Kosas concealer. So I'm gonna set my makeup with this Dose of Colors sponge. They came out with a couple of different sponges and I'm just using a translucent powder for this. And then I'm gonna contour my face with the Huda Beauty bronzer. I was recently doing a Q&A and I promised people that I would talk about my horror story with Botox. And um, I think I'm just gonna do that now because what better time? I feel like a lot of us are home, you have some time. So grab your snacks, maybe a glass of wine and listen to this story because it's a pretty bad one. So I get a lot of questions like if I get Botox or fillers and things like that. I feel like a lot of YouTubers get this question and I've answered here and there because I really don't do a lot. I used to get a lot of Botox. <laughs> I haven't in a while and I'll tell you why. And I have gotten fillers on my lips and typically I like to do my top lip just because the bottom is pretty full. I haven't done it in a while. As you can tell, it's quite small and I actually was gonna get, get it done right before this whole quarantine thing started and now I can't do it until probably May or whenever we go back to regular life. I never had someone like amazing that I would go for fillers and Botox and that's probably why I didn't do it as often because every time I did it, I wasn't that impressed with the results. A lot of times I feel like doctors and nurses, like they kind of overdo it and no matter how many times I tell them I want super, super natural, I still feel like it's a little too much at the end. So anyway, I heard about this doctor who is a plastic surgeon, works in Beverly Hills, has a practice. I was like, okay, let me just go give it a try. Right off the bat, I didn't get an amazing vibe from him. I just felt like he was a little too aggressive. He wanted to do a little too much. Long story short, he ends up doing Botox like up here. Do you see that? It's normal, everyone has it, but I don't know why this little wrinkly thing bothers me. And I was like, is there anything we can do about this? And he was like, yeah, we could definitely do Botox and I'll like get rid of that. And it'll also relax your jawline. And I was like, okay, let's try it. So he injected Botox and God knows how many units he put in there. Later I found out he either over injected or misplaced the Botox. Basically for like three months, my mouth was crooked. So like this side was higher and this side was lower. And I had to film obviously during that time. So some of you guys noticed it and a lot of you thought it was lip fillers. And I was like, mm, nope, it's not lip fill fillers. And I was waiting for it to go away before I talked about it because I was so embarrassed and mortified that I just was like, let this whole thing go away and then I'll talk about it. And it was just so crazy that that happened to me. And then of course I talked to the doctor. He didn't have compassion. He was just like, oh my God, it's a side effect that like happens very, very rarely. And you just happen to get it. And I was just like, what do we do now? Like, is there anything we could do to fix it? And he was like, nope, there's absolutely nothing you can do to fix it. You just have to wait until the Botox actually wears off. The good news is that it will wear off and you will go back to your no normal face. So the worst part about this whole thing was how the doctor actually like handled the situation. He was so shady, like he didn't even try to like see me or try to talk to me. He was trying to avoid me the, the whole time. I would force to talk to him and I did talk to him I think like once, but the rest of the time he kept like referring me to his nurses. I don't know if he was embarrassed or what, but like he just did not handle the whole thing very well. Basically he called me into his office to refund me supposedly. So I went to his office and I was expecting to see him, you know? So I was like, okay, maybe he'll look at me and he'll be like, oh, it's almost wearing off or whatnot. And he didn't even come out. 
He literally sent a nurse and legal documents for me to sign, which basically said that if I ever talk about this, he can like sue me. Are you kidding me? Is this what it's about for you? Like you just messed up my whole face for three and a half months and you want me to sign this piece of paper? So basically I got so upset and I just, I left his office without getting any money back and without signing that piece of paper because I was just like, this that's just rude, you know? Like you can't just buy something like this. Like I didn't bash him or like tag him or anything like that because I don't know, I just wanna be the bigger person in this and thankfully my face went back to normal. But honestly, moral of the story, I'm not the best storyteller here, but moral of the story is I'm really terrified of Botox because of my personal experience. Will I do it again? Never on my chin, ever again. I've learned that lesson and I'm okay with my wrinkles. <laughs> but I do, you know, like a little bit around my forehead and my eyes. I don't know when I will do that. I think it's gonna take me a minute to like actually be brave enough to do that again. But yeah, moral of the story, if you're gonna get Botox, just first of all, know where you're going. Second of all, trust your instinct and, and your intuition. Like if you don't get good vibes from the doctor, like I would just not do it. And then the other thing is whatever they recommend, like say if they recommend 25 units, I would just say, is it okay to start with maybe like 17 and then see how I like it? Maybe I can come back for the rest or like fi even 15 because you just never know. I think it's better to start with minimum units and then work your way up. So that's like my only advice but that's my little botox horror story it was awful i can't even tell you guys what an awful 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 experience that was i'm just glad it's over anyway back to makeup i'm gonna use the persona cosmetics identity 2 palette and i'm gonna start with loyal and i'm just gonna apply this on my crease i always do this because it kind of helps open up the eye next i'm gonna pick up independent and i'm just gonna apply that on the outer corners and kind of feather it up a bit. I'm gonna switch my brush and apply a little more because I kind of want quite a lot on the outer corners. And then blend it because this is a really, really fluffy brush and this is obviously a little bit more dense, the Persona one. So together, they just work really well. So you just wanna press it and then with a fluffier brush, which I feel like now I need a clean one, you just feather it up. So I'm just slowly blending this in a little bit. It's because I just want that cat eye effect. What's crazy about this whole experience is that the reason why I was mentioning how the doctor was in Beverly Hills is because I feel like these Beverly Hills doctors have such like a good rep, I guess, you know? Um, and people always say, you know, do your research, go somewhere amazing. Well, sometimes you don't know, like, you know, they can have this beautiful practice in Beverly Hills and they can seem legit, but they might just not be as caring. They might just be all about selling more units, which who knows if that's what happened. Maybe he just wanted to inject more so that he can make more money. And that's what happened. Like you just, you just never know. And so I don't know. I just think being smart about following your gut, you know, like if you feel like they're being pushy or something just doesn't feel right, which to me, again, from day one, something just didn't sit well with me. Do you guys have any horror stories with like Botox fillers or any kind of cosmetic procedure? Please let me know. So I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and then again, using independent, I'm just gonna apply this on my bottom lash line and then just Bring it up. I'm just putting on a black liner on the inner rim. And if you have smaller eyes, I would skip this step, but for me, it just makes such a difference. Okay, I'm also gonna apply a little bit of liner on the top and then just flick it up. This is the Persona Cosmetics 24 hour liner, by the way, in black. It is sold out, but I th hopefully by the time this video comes out, we'll have some available, but it's been sold out for a minute. And then with the pencil brush, I'm gonna pick up Limitless, which is just a really nice velvety black. And I'm just gonna go over that black liner. This just helps make it velvety and also makes the liner stay put even longer. I just, it kind of like sets the liner in place. So I already had some mascara on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more layers. I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs mascara. I haven't used this in a while, but this used to be one of my favorite mascaras. I mean, I still really like it, but I don't know, I always switch things around and then I get stuck using the same one for months. 
I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter on the high points of my cheeks and I'm going to use this Hourglass highlighter and it's a very subtle highlighter which is nice because there's so much going on on the eyes I don't want my highlighter to be super intense. I'm going to do my lips and let my mascara dry. I might pop on some lashes just to give it that even dramatic look. I'm going to use this Kevin Aquan lip liner in Divine. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Sunny's Face in Casual. Actually, that does not go at all. It's a little too dark. So I'm just going to go back to the liner and fill in my entire lips with this. It's a little more cool toned. And then I'm going to top it off with this Dose of Colors lip gloss. It's like a topper. And I'm just going to put this all... Uh, actually, I'm just going to put this in the center. And then just blend it in. I'm going to pop some individual lashes just to, again, make this look a little more dramatic and we'll be done. I'm using the Ardell Individual Lashes in short black. And then I'm also adding these individuals because I feel like it makes such a difference to have some longer pieces sticking out. I feel like I should have used... You know what? I'm going to mix the blushes. I used Georgia in the beginning and now I'm just going to use a little bit of Carmel on top because the look is more cool toned. And Carmel is more cool toned, so I feel like this would match a little better. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, ooh, I love Carmel with this look. It's like, well now it's mixed with Georgia, but it's definitely more the vibe. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something. Just when I thought I was done. Just when I thought I was done. I decided to add a little bit of this silver MAC eyeshadow. It's called Discotheque just to see what it looks like. I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus on it and I'm just gonna pop it on the center. Ooh. And a little on the inner corners. That's it. Oh my gosh, this adds a lot. Like it's definitely a lot more. I feel like this completely changed the look. It was effortless smoky before and now it's like definitely glam. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, would you actually like glam it up at home yourself or was this just something fun to watch but you're not gonna put this much makeup on just to sit at home? Let me know. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. They'll be like, why does that woman have so much makeup on? Like, where is she going? I know her. Just back home. She likes makeup, okay? Leave her alone. Oh my gosh, I feel like an old school YouTuber with, you know, showing the products like that. I swear I'm gonna get this right.